Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.4 and problem number 2.45. Referring to figure, calculate the tensions S1 and S2 in the strings AB and AC that support the lamp of weight Q is equal to 178 newtons. Use method of projections. That means there are two strings AB and AC connected with a lamp of weight 178 newtons. Our interest is to find the tensions in the strings AB and AC. So let us consider the free body diagram at point A. Let us see what are the various forces that are acting at point A. The first force, of course, the self weight of the lamp that is Q. Next force, the force along string AB that I am considering is initially I am assuming that it is a tensile force and the magnitude is S1 and hence it is away from point A. Similarly, tension in AC, I am assuming that the force is a tensile force and it is away from point A and the magnitude is S2. Let us find the angle made by the S2 with the horizontal. So let this angle is theta and from this right angle triangle I can say tan theta is equal to 0 0.2 by 0 0.9 and I can find that theta value as 12.53 degrees. Let us transfer all these three forces onto separate xy plane for easy analysis. First I am transferring the force vertical force Q. Next that is S1. Next force is S2 and we know that this force makes an angle 12.53 degrees with the horizontal. Let us divide all these three forces along x axis and y axis. Now the first force is Q that is 178 newtons is a vertical force. So there is no horizontal component and hence Q is equal to 178 kilo newtons acts vertically downwards. Next force is S1 which acts along horizontal direction. So there is no vertical component of S1. Hence S1 also I transferred uh, along X axis. Next S2 force makes an angle 12.53 degrees. So this force you can resolve along X axis and Y axis like this. So the horizontal component or X axis component is like this and Y axis component is like this. Since this force makes an angle 12.53 degrees with the x axis, hence x component is cos component S2 cos 45 and vertical component is S2 sin 12.53. So these are the uh, four forces after resolving all the forces along x axis and y axis. Let us try to find the net force along x axis and net force along y axis. Since the body is under equilibrium, net force along x axis is equal to 0 and net force along y axis is equal to 0. First, let us consider the net force along y axis is 0. I will consider my upward direction is positive or S2 sin 12.53 is equal to 178 kilo Newton. There are only two forces. So S2 sin 12.53 is equal to 178 or S2 is equal to 820. 0.5 kN. Similarly, net force along x axis is 0. There are only two forces. I will take this side is my positive direction. Hence, I can write S2 cos 12.53 is equal to S1. And I know that S2 is equal to 820.5 kN that I can substitute there. Hence, I can say S1 is equal to 801 kN. So, S1 801 kN and S2 820.5 kilonewtons. These two are the answers for the given problem. 